this is part of a series of videos detailing the very basics of Blender, with an episode planned to be released about every two weeks. In these tutorials you will learn the very basics of geometry, UI use, shading and some other things that I'd consider essential to a beginner. With that out of the way, let's begin. Ok now, intro done, we're now gonna get into the actual tutorial. So, this is the first episode on a series of videos aimed at making learning the very basics of Blender as simple as possible. Right now we're gonna focus on explaining the very basics of how 3D graphics work in Blender. Whenever you open Blender you're gonna be welcomed to a single cube in the center of your scene. This cube, just like everything else, is made out of the basic blocks of all geometry the main of which are the vertex, the edges and the faces, with an honorary mention which are the normals, basically the direction in which each face is pointing. So what are these things that make up all 3D? Well, any vertex is just a point in space, not a circle, not a sphere, but a point. It's a series of coordinates and nothing else. Whenever you have two points you can join them and make an edge, which is a line between two points. Again, this isn't a tube or a string, this is just a line that goes from point A to point B. And from then, you have the faces. Whenever you have three or more points, you can join them together with edges in such a way that you have a triangle, a square, or whatever else you want. Generally speaking, you'd like to be working with faces that have only four vertex, since faces that have either three vertex or more than four vertex can lead to problems later on. And as an extra, you have the normals, which are the direction in which your faces point at. These are important for things like lighting and such, between many other things. You can also make what are, to call them some way, fake normals. The fastest way to make any kind of fake normals and the most common one is smoothing the normals of an object. Basically, do you see how the cube has very sharp corners and all that? Well, you can left click, shade smooth and now the cube is smooth. Now, if you look at this sharp sphere and you apply smooth normals to it, it becomes a smooth sphere. If you compare it to this sphere which has a lot more faces, well, they look pretty similar. So you can use this trick to save yourself some faces. A very quick way to explain the way that this works is that instead of having just one direction in the whole face, it takes the center of the face and from there it basically does a gradient to the center of the neighbor face. So here, in between the two faces, it says that the direction the face is pointing to is upwards, because that would be the middle point in between the two normals. And with that, I've told you everything there is to know about the very basics of Blender Geometry. And the way that it all connects is through objects. An object is pretty much anything, and it is what contains all of your vertex, your edges, your faces and all that stuff. As well as the origin of the object, which indicates where the center of said object is. You will learn the utility of an object's origin later on. Also, you can see all of your objects here in this tab by the side of the viewport. You can click here so you don't see them in the final render, but you do see them in the viewport. Here so that you don't see them in the viewport, but you do in the final render. And if they are part of a collection, you can press here in order to make them disappear everywhere. And since we are already here, we might as well take a little bit of the video in order to focus on the Blender interface. So, the very basics. Your UI is made of what seem to be windows. You can elongate them, you can make them smaller, you can bring in new windows and you can also delete them. Each window can enter a class, each class has its specific use. Let's say, for example, the 3D viewport. You can animate on it, you can model on it, you can texture on it, nothing serves only one purpose. You can change the window class in this tab right here. However, if you can't be bothered to make your own personalized UI, don't worry, Blender comes with many pre-made UIs which you can enter by this top part of the screen. Anyways, with that, we are done. Join me in one or two weeks to talk about the edit mode, where you really get to mess with those 3D shapes and make your own custom objects. However, if you can't just wait two weeks, you can also follow me on Patreon, where it will be posted as soon as I'm done with it. It could take three days, it could actually just be two weeks anyways, but you know. You can also access special content like PDFs, detailing in more detail what was talked in the video, and also you give me a reason to keep working on this stuff. Uh, it will be in the description. And anyways, with that, um, yeah, that's all I wanted to say, goodbye.